Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the online Arabic classes offered by Baitul Hikmah in the open. This is your brother Muhammad Anwar Khan Al-Qasmi, the managing director of the institute and the lead teacher in it. We are on page number 40 of Al-Qira'atul Wadiha, volume number 1, part 1, Al-Juz'ul Awwal. So this lesson like the previous lesson also deals with that particular type of Arabic verb which is known as mu'tal. If the harful illa, if the wow or ya is on the second radical, that is called as ajwaf al mu'tallul ain which is more technically known as ajwaf so in the previous lesson you practiced using qala you use different forms of qala and the complete madhi and uh, mudare past and present were qala yaqulu qala yaqulu so that was Ajwaf. And now again, in this lesson, we are going to use al mu'tallul ain the Ajwaf type of verb. But there is a little difference. In the previous section, in the previous lesson, the Ajwaf was on the pattern of Nasara Yansuru. So Qala Yaqulu was Qawala Yaqulu. After modification, after some morphological modifications, we have it qala yaqulu. So actually the alif you see in qala, that is a replacement that has come after you removed wow, after you changed it. So that is a replacement. Uh, that is not its actual position. Actually there was wow, qawala. And we replaced it uh, by this, by this alif. So in this section, you have nama yanamu, nama yanamu to sleep. This is also an abnormal verb. This is also al mu'tallul ain and al ajwaf or al ajwaful wawi. But the pattern, the pattern is different. That was qala yaqulu and this is nama yanamu. But in this one too, this alif has come as a replacement. This is not its actual place. In fact, it was Navima Yanvamu. So, Kala Yakulu, that was Kavala Yakulu on the pattern of Nasara Yansuru. And here you have Nama Yanamu on the pattern of Navima Yanvamu. But both of them fall under the category of Al Ajwaf, Al Ajwaful Wawi, Al Mu'tallul Ain. But the pattern, the pattern is different. Okay. So now. We start inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Addarasu Salis Wal Ishroon, lesson number 23. Ana Anamu Ala Sariri. I sleep on my bed. Anta Tanamu Ala Saririka. You sleep on your bed. Anti Tanamina Ala Saririki. You sleep on your bed. So the idea is that. Anamu, Tanamu, Tanamina. You have to practice the verb Nama into its different forms, different Sigaz. Huwa Yanamu ala Firashihi. He sleeps on his bed. Firashun meaning bed. And Hiya Tanamu ala Firashiha. She sleeps on her bed. So basically, Firashun is what you spread is what you spread to sleep on we can also say sheet and we can also see it like mattress we can also say bed the baby slept in the cradle al-mahdu meaning cradle 
Namat Fatima to fill Urjuhati. Fatima slept in the swing. Urjuha meaning swing. Al Mahd meaning cradle. Nimta al al Makadi. You slept on the bench. Al Makad bench. Al Makad meaning bench and seat. Nimti al al Hashiyati. You slept on the mattress. Al Hashiyah meaning mattress. And nimtu al al bisati, I slept on the carpet. So there are some similar words like a sarir meaning cot or bed, al firash anything you spread on the bed, and al mahdu meaning cradle, and al urjuhatu meaning swing, and al maqadu meaning bench, and al hashiyatu meaning mattress, and al bisatu meaning carpet. Nam ya sadiqi fi hujrati. Oh my friend, please sleep in my room. So nam, this is this is imperative. This is fa'lul amr. La tanam bi jivari shajari. Don't sleep beside the tree. Nami ya ukhti huna ala firashi. Oh my sister, please sleep here on the bed or on the sheet. So al firash, as I said. Al firash is what you spread on the floor or on the bed to sleep on, and a sarir is the bed or the cot, and al bisat is a carpet, al hashiya is mattress. La tanami huna ka al maqadi. Don't sleep there on the bench. Now you have asila questions and answers, and in all these questions and answers, the verb nama is al ajwaf. Since it has wow, so we can say also al ajwaful wawi. Okay. Aina tanamu anta. Where do you sleep? Ana anamu ala sariri. I sleep on my bed. Ala ayi shayin tanamu anta. On what do you sleep? Anamu ala sariri. I sleep on the bed. Hal anta tanamu ala sariri. Do you sleep on the bed? Naam. Ana anamu ala sariri. Yes, I sleep on the bed. On the cot. Mayanamu ala saririka, who sleeps on your bed? So, sarir meaning cot, bed, we call it in Urdu as palang also. Mayanamu ala saririka, ana anamu ala sariri, who sleeps on your bed? I sleep on my bed. Hal anta tanamu ala saririka, do you sleep on your bed? Naam, ana anamu ala sariri, yes, I sleep on my bed. Hal tanamu fil hujrati, do you sleep in the room? Naam. Anamu fil hujrati. I sleep in the room. Hal anti tanamina laylan. Do you sleep during night or in night? Naam. Ana anamu laylan. Hal anti tanamina naharan. Do you sleep during day? Daytime? La. La anamu naharan. I don't sleep during daytime. Hal anti tanamina zuhran. Do you sleep during noon or midday? Naam. Anamu zuhran. I sleep. During the midday or uh, at midday. Halyana Muhammadun fil Hujrati. Does Hamid sleep in the room? Naam, Yana Muhammadun fil Hujrati. Hamid sleeps in the room. Halyana Muhammadun al Hashiyati. Does Hamid sleep on the mattress? Naam, Yana Muhammadun al Hashiyati. Hamid sleeps on the mattress. Halyana Muhadimuka. Does your servant sleep? Naam, Yana Muhadimi, yes, my servant sleeps. Aina Tanamu Ummuka, where does your mother sleep? Tanamu Ummi ala Sariri, my mother sleeps on the on the bed. Halhiya Tanamu fil Matbaki, does she sleep in the kitchen? La. Hiya la Tanamu fil Matbaki, she does not sleep in the kitchen. Halhiya Tanamu fil Hujrati, does she sleep in the room? Does she sleep in the room? Naam. Hiya tanamu fil hujrati. Yes, she sleeps in the room. Hal nam at tiflu? Did the uh, baby go to sleep? Has has the baby slept? Naam. Nam at tiflu. Yes, the baby has slept. Aina nama huwa? Why did he sleep? Nama fil mahdi. He slept uh, in the cradle. Did your sister go to sleep? 
Has your sister slept? Naam. Naamat ukhti. My sister has slept. Aina naamat. Where did she sleep? Where did she sleep? Naamat ala al-firashi. She slept on the bed. And then, Hal nimta huna. Did you sleep here? Did you sleep here? La nimtu ala nimtu ala sariri. I slept on the on the bed. Hal nimti hunaka. Did you sleep uh, there? Did you sleep there? La nimtu ala bisati. I slept on the carpet. Hal nimti ala sariri. Did you sleep on the on the bed? La nimtu ala bisati. I slept on the carpet. Al bisat carpet. Or rug. And now he is giving two verbs for you. Kala yakulu and then nama yanamu. So kala yakulu. So you have to identify, you have to practice these two verbs. Kala is also, as I explained, al ajwaful wabi and nama is also al ajwaful wabi. Meaning both of them are al mu'atalul ain, meaning they have wow at the second radical. So anything that has wow or ya at the second radical that is al mu'tal, and if it is wow, it will be called as al mu'talul wawi, and if it is ya, it is called as al mu'talul yai. So here we have two verbs: qala yaqulu and nama yanamu. Both of them al mu'talul ain, both of them al ajwaf, and both of them al ajwaful wawi. The only difference is that qala uh, yaqulu is on the pattern of nasrayan suru, which was qala yaqulu, and nama yanamu is on the pattern of nawima yanwamu. Which is on the pattern of Samia Yasmau. Navima Yanwamu. Okay. So Hua Kala. He said, Antakul, you say imperative. Antala takul, you don't say Falunahi. Hua Nama, he slept. Antanam, you sleep. Antalatanam, you don't sleep. Okay. Hua Yakulu. Hua Yakulu, he says, Anti Kuli, you say feminine. Anti Lata Kuli, you don't say feminine. Falunahi. Hua Yanamu, he sleeps. Anti Nami, you sleep. Anti Lata Lami, you don't sleep. Falunahi. So you have to be careful about the different forms of Falun Amr and Falun Nahi and Mabari and Maudi of all these two important patterns like Kala uh, and Nama. If you practice a few samples, for example, if you practice enough using Kala and Nama, so there are hundreds of other verbs. It will be easier for you to convert them into different shapes, into different structures, into different morphological forms. So I hope that everything is clear now. We stop here, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.